Hey guys, today we are in for a treat. This one goes out to the coders, the people that keep our software bug free. I have right here the Base i7 from last year, the MacBook Pro 2018 i7 2.2 gigahertz with 32 gigabytes of RAM versus the Base i9 from this year, the eight core behemoth with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'm gonna find out what's more important for our compile times. Is it RAM or is it core count? We're gonna be doing some nice juicy tests. We're gonna be compiling FFmpeg from scratch. We're gonna be jumping into Unreal Engine. We're gonna be jumping into Unity and we're gonna be doing some Xcode. And, and my friends, we're gonna be doing it with both hyper threading turned on and hyper threading turned off. That's it, we're going crazy right here on this channel. We're gonna let you know is security worth the performance impact or what is going on, all that kind of stuff. So first, let's just get going. This is FFmpeg, pure compile using brew. Let's get to it. So during the configure stage, we can see that the i7 on the left is settling down to around three and a half gigahertz, whereas on the right, we got 4.2 gigahertz. Temperature wise, both of them are going around 90 degrees at the moment. On the left, the i7 is using 45 watts of power. and On the right, the i9 is using 52. The fans have started to ramp up. The i7 is going 4,000 RPMs and the i9 is hitting 3,000. Temperature on both is now raised to 95 degrees. We're using 100% of the cores. The frequency on the i9 is three gigahertz. Frequency on the i7 is 3.1. The i7's fans have now ramped up to 5,000 RPM and the i9's fans are hitting 4,100. Temperature of the i7 has hit 100 degrees and the i9 has also hit 100 degrees. The i9 is now going at 4.4 gigahertz at 100 degrees centigrade. <laughs> Yowzers. The i7 is at 3 gigahertz at 95 degrees centigrade. Done. The i9 has finished on the right. All right, there we have it. We have our scores. The i9 hit two minutes and a half, two minutes and 27 seconds, whereas the i7, that one completed at two minutes and 51 seconds. The most interesting thing I noticed is that both these units were hitting 100 degrees. The CPUs are going crazy, but yet at that temperature, they were both hitting. This one was going 4, 4 gigahertz and this one was going 4.3 gigahertz. So the i9 came in 15% faster than last year's base i7. Not that big of a jump. Two more cores, I expected more, but let's see how it performs with hyper threading turned off. Three, two, one, go. All right, that was pretty interesting. The i9 was 6% slower, so it's, it's a drop, but it's not that big of a drop. Next up, let's test out some Xcode. Three, two, one, go. All right, so it looks like the i9 was about two seconds faster than the i7 in compiling, building, and running the iOS simulation. Now, let's do it with hyper-threading turned off. Three, two, one, go. All right, with hyper threading turned off, there is no difference in the speeds. This Xcode project compiled exactly the same, ran simulated the same, and the good thing about Xcode, the fans were pretty much near silent while running, but yeah, no difference with hyper threading turned on and off, and you're getting a two second lead on the i9, two seconds. That is around actually 15%, so it can be significant. All right, next up, let's get in the world of 3D gaming. Let's make some games, make some money on the app stores. Unreal Engine, are you ready? And right now we're getting 90 frames a second on the right i9 and 75 frames a second on the left i7. That's, I think is mainly down to the 555X versus 560X. So let's do a build. Three, two, one. That was pretty interesting. So I thought the i9 was gonna win. However, that was... Pretty interesting, there was a time where the i7 dropped down to 1.5 gigahertz and the i9 dropped down to two gigahertz. However, I don't think it was thermal throttling because the temperatures were within reason. So I think it was just more to do with something else because the temperatures were low, probably the compilation or copying files, that kind of stuff, that kind of operation. However, I'm surprised. Now there is a difference in frames per second. However, I think that's more linked to the on left, I'm using uh, 555X graphics, and on the right, I'm using 560X graphics. 
left was getting 75 frames a second and on the right was getting 90 frames a second. However, a compilation was that, that surprised me. I thought we'd be getting some more out of these cores, but in Unreal Engine, we're not. However, let's turn off hyper threading and do it all over again. So on the left, we're still getting 75 frames a second. And on the right, we're still getting 90 frames a second. So hyper threading doesn't seem to affect anything graphically related. All right, the fans are down to zero. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is pretty cool. You got 99.8 degrees on the temperature and it's doing 2.9 gigahertz on the speed. Yowzers. All right, we're finished. The i7 was 15 seconds slower and the i9 was 10 seconds slower, but, but interestingly enough, the i7 beat the i9 again. You know, there's other 3D game editors in the world, so let's show some love to Unity. Unity 3D, are you ready? I told you this was gonna be a good one. All right, let's try using the editor quick. Seems to be pretty responsive. Yep, looks kind of nice. All good, this one, again, looks the same, but let's just see what our build times are. One, go. So they both seem to compile the project in about 10 seconds. No difference I've spotted whatsoever. I don't think hyper threading is gonna make a difference, but let's have a play anyway. Three, two, one, go. Still 10 seconds. It might have been half a second faster, but there you have it. We went to the world of Unity, went to the world of Unreal Engine, and we went to the world of Xcode and vanilla compilation. All right, I hope you found this interesting. For me, yeah, I'm taken aback by this, but let me know. What projects are you working on? Which IDE do you use? I know I didn't do any Android today. I'm sorry, Android people. Maybe next time. Let me know if you want some Android. Mm.